All right, Shalom. First, I want to start by giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shimon Havashai, by Shimon Kakodash, Rakate Yahweh, Rakate Havashai. Yahweh been the name of the Heavenly Father who the world calls God. Yahweh Shai been the name of the beloved Son who the world eternally called Jesus Christ. As their true names in Allah Swan Kodash, the ancient Hebrew, the only names you call upon for salvation if you're an Israelite. All right, the Israelites mean so called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans today. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great Muslim and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. I back on the lesson to the spirit of Prophet Yahweh by Shemal Shai. And the title I'm going to give this lesson is The Lord Will Not Keep His Anger Forever. Okay, Yahweh by Shemal Shai will not keep their anger forever. Okay, and all that we've experienced as a nation, you know, the hard bondage, the genocide, you know, the curses cleaving unto us, you know, that has all been the anger of the Lord, man. Okay? So I want to start here with um, Baruch 4 and um, I'll start at 5. Baruch 4 and 5, it says, Be of good cheer, my people, the memorial of Israel. You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, right? The Lord didn't send us over here on the side of the earth, you know, so we could be completely wiped out. Nah, man. Okay, you were sold to the nations not for your destruction, but because you moved the Most High to wrath. And how do we do that? By serving other uh, uh, gods, man, which are not gods. Okay, which are idols. Okay, which is spiritual fornication, man. You know, that's a uh, uh, spiritual adultery, man. All right, because we're known as the Lord's woman. Okay, so it says you were not sold to the nations not for your destruction. But because you moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies, all right? The main enemy being the so-called white man, known as Esau Edom in the Bible. Okay, you just need to know this, man. Okay, you need to know who you are and you need to know who your enemies are, man. Okay, the so-called so white man is not your friend, all right? How about Shema Shai did not place him over us for us to be buddy-buddy with him, okay? Nor to adopt his ways. This is pure punishment from the Lord, man, okay? What is that? Amos 3. You know, I have a few scriptures gathered, but I'm just going to roll in the spirit. This is Amos 3 and 1. It says, hear this word that, that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of, children of Israel. And it's always about the children of Israel. No matter what um, page you go to in the scriptures, it's going to be uh, uh, about or centered around the children of Israel, man. Okay, because the Bible is our book, man. All right, don't let the so-called white man fool you. The Bible is our book, okay? But it takes having a true understanding of the Bible, okay, for things to, for the puzzle, puzzle pieces to come together, man. All right, so it says, Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth, right? The Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel, all right? The Lord is only um, familiar with, okay? And we're the only ones that have the intimacy with, with the Heavenly Father, okay? So you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities, man. Okay, and that's the answer on why, you know, our lives are so uh, shitty on this side of the earth. You know, what has it been, 500 years? You know, our people have been going through it, man. Northern Kingdom, Southern Kingdom. Okay, this is why. All right, the book gives us the why on, on, on why we're over here on, this, on the side of the earth serving our captivity. Because the Lord is punishing for our iniquities, man. Okay, so going back, it says, You were sold to the nations, not for your destruction, but because you moved the most high to wrath, you were delivered unto the enemies. For you provoked him that made you by sacrificing unto devils, man. And not to Yahweh by Shem and Shad, man. Okay, and the scriptures tell you in the book of Deuteronomy, the 10th chapter, that the Lord requires us to fear him, okay, and to keep his laws, man. All right, uh, Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, uh, 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 the conclusion of the matter, the whole duty of man, fear the most high and keep his commandments, okay, and we broke that, uh, uh, we didn't keep up our, our, our end of the, uh, the, the, the agreement, you know, we went off, okay, repeatedly. To where the Lord got so pissed off that he put us out of our land, exiled us, man. 
Okay, and we still in captivity. All right, it says, you have forgotten the everlasting power that brought you up, and you have grieved Jerusalem that nursed you. But when she saw the wrath of the Most High coming upon you, she said, hearken, O ye that dwell upon Zion, the Most High brought upon me great mourning. For I saw the captivity of my sons and daughters, which the everlasting brought upon them. And this is allegory talk, you know, uh, uh, of, you know, from, from the perspective of our land. Okay. So this is all the wrath of the Lord. Okay. And this is why our people grow up, you know, they grow up without these answers. All right. But the Lord, through his mercy, are providing the answers in these last days. Uh, via the prophets, man, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Okay, this is 2nd Maccabees 6 and uh, and 12. It says, Now I beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities, but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction, but for a chastening of our nation. You see, and what is what is that? In other words, tough love, man. Okay tough love the lord chasteneth whom he loveth okay now we know the lord is only dealing with his elect in this time okay but on a whole the lord chastised our judgments i mean our, our our nation okay by bringing great judgments upon us man and there's one more ass woman there's one there's one more uh uh you know uh release of wrath before the lord you know uh makes it to where we all good you know as a nation man there's one more release of anger man okay and that's the time of jacob's trouble where the wicked of our people in these times they're gonna get it all right they're gonna get a a, a heavy dose of the anger of the lord all right so once again it says <clears throat> now I beseech those that read this book that they be not discouraged for these calamities but that they judge those punishments not to be for destruction but for a chastening of our nation jumping down to 14 it says but not as with other nations whom the Lord patiently forbear to punish till they become to fullness of their sins, so dealeth he with us. Okay. Uh, no, that's not the one I want. I want a 16, actually. All right, jump it down to 16. It says, and therefore he never withdraw his mercy from us. Okay. Even in all the anger that the Lord, you know, uh, uh, executed, Via Esau, you know, okay, the Lord never took his mercy from us, man. He never forsook us, you know. It says, verse 16, and therefore he never withdraw of his mercy from us, and though he punished with adversity, yet doth he never forsake his people. Okay, so we're not a people forsaken, man. You know, let these nations tell it. We ain't got nobody backing us, man. We ain't got nobody in our corner. You know, that's why Jake grew up in the, with the lowest confidence, man. Not knowing that Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh the creator of the heavens and the earth, is our God, man. And he looks like us, man. Or more more perfectly, he look we look like him. Okay? Or we look like them. Okay? So the Lord will not keep his anger forever, man. This is just chastisement to our nation, man. Okay? This is uh, Daniel's 9. In 9, it says, To the Lord our power belong mercies and forgiveness. Though we have rebelled against him, neither have we obeyed the voice of, our, of, our, of the Lord our power to walk in his laws, which he set before us by his servants, the prophets. Okay? So we haven't kept the Lord's laws. Okay? The scriptures say rebelliousness is as a sin of witchcraft. So it's no shock why the Lord jacked us up, man. You know? Completely, uh, uh, devastated us brought us low this is the lowest we've ever been as a, as a nation the lord was so hot that he took his name from us he took our nationality from us man he took us out the land that's how angry yahweh uh, was with us man okay it says yeah all israel have transgressed thy law even by departing that they might not obey thy voice therefore the curse is poured upon us and what is the curse Go read Deuteronomy the 28th chapter, 15th all the way down to 68. Okay, these are the curse, curses that he poured upon us. Therefore, the curse is poured upon us and the oath that is written in the law of Moses, the servant of the Most High,
because we have sinned against him. And that's the, the common denominator of all of this. We sin against the Lord, man. You know, we sinned, man. It's our fault. Okay, it's like a woman transgression against her husband. You know, it's on her to make that right, man. All right, and that's our position right now. But the only ones that are uh, uh, seeking the Lord and trying to, you know, be in good graces is the elect. Okay, which are the, are the ones that are predestinated to seek Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay, the ones that, that have been predestinated to believe in these last days. Okay. Uh, here's the point. It says, And he have confirmed his words, which he spake against us and against our judges that judged us by bringing upon us a great evil. For under the whole heaven have not been done as have been done upon Jerusalem. Okay? So no other nation have experienced what we've experienced as a people, man. And that's the love of the Lord. So imagine what the Lord's going to do to the ones that he hates. Uh, 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 mainly speaking of the nation of Esau Edom The so-called white man Okay You can only imagine what the Lord is going to have uh, Have done to, to, to these damn Edomites man If he done If he's uh, done this to the ones that he loves How much more is he going to do To the ones that he hates man Whoo That's going to be some heavy judgment man Okay So no other nation have experienced what we've experienced Which is the wrath of Yahweh by Shemal Shai man Okay, and Esau likes to separate our plights. He likes to separate, you know, what has happened to us, man. But he ain't gonna tell you that we're one people, that we're we're one nation. He likes to separate what happened to the tribe of Gad, what happened to the tribe of Reuben, Reuben, what happened to Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. You know, make it seem like it's different. You know, attacks on different nations. No, man, we're all one people. Okay, and Esau Edom has been our problem from the beginning, man. You know <clears throat> But like I had mentioned um, You know we're the Lord's woman Okay So the Lord was uh, justified In uh, 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 bringing judgment upon us so, uh, Exodus 34 and 14 It says For, for thou shalt worship no other God Alright We're not to worship no other God Than Yahweh by Shema Shai But what do our people do? They worship everything under the sun but Yahweh by Shema Shai. Okay? For thou shalt worship no other God. For Yahweh, whose name is Jealous, is a jealous power. Okay? He's a jealous power. So he was justified in jacking us up. You know, you can only imagine, you know, how angry the Lord was, man. You know? <clears throat> Just imagine having a woman that, that, that commits adultery on you. You know Over and over You know Imagine how hot you will be You know, alright You will want You will want to, to, to Put both of them down Your woman and The one she committed adultery with <coughs> Salakia This is uh, Proverbs um, 6 and 34 It says For jealousy is the rage of a man Okay So jealousy is the rage of man Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance. Okay, and the Lord didn't spare. You know, he let the he let these nations have their way with us, man. You know, and it hurts, man. You know, we're still dealing with uh, the curses to this day. We're still in our lowest state. We're still the offscoring of the earth. Okay. <clears throat> so it says, for jealousy is the rage of man. Therefore, he will not spare in the day of vengeance, man. Okay, because we're that woman. All right, so the Lord was jealous over us. Jeremiah 6 and 2. I have likened the daughter of Zion to a calmly and delicate woman. All right, and the Lord is our husband. And we stepped out on our husband. Okay, so the Lord was justified in his anger. All right. I'm going to get one more scripture proving that we're that woman. So, uh, 2nd Edges 10 and 44 it says, This woman... Whom thou sawest is Zion. All right, Zion represents the nation of Israel. And whereas she said unto thee, even she whom thou seest as the city built it. Okay? So that woman <coughs> is, is us. We're the Lord's woman. Okay? And you don't, hey, you don't want your woman, you know, uh, 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 out there like that. Like they would say today in the streets. Nah, man. You know? 
So the Lord, the Lord got, he got that anger off, <laughs> you know? He got that anger off, man. But even in <clears throat> his anger, the Lord still had mercy, man. He still didn't allow this, this Edomite to uh, 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 exterminate us, man. Because that's their plan. That was their plan. Okay? The scripture said that this, <coughs> this is the day that they have looked for, man. All right? Lamentations 3 and 22, it says, It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed. All right? When you look up that word consumed, it means <coughs> finished or wiped out. You know? <coughs> we weren't finished. You know, it was just a chastisement of our nation. It is of the Lord's mercies that we are not consumed because his compassions fail not. Okay? So even in his anger, the Lord is merciful. <clears throat> you know? <clears throat> Alright, so the Lord ain't gonna keep his anger forever, man. Alright, so uh, this is uh, Psalms 103 and 6. It says, The Lord, Yahweh from outside, executed righteousness and judgment for all that are oppressed. He made, he made known his ways unto Moses, his acts unto the children of Israel. Okay, once again, we have that relationship with the Lord. We have that that history and that intimacy with Yahweh by Shema outside. No other nation, man. It says the Lord is merciful and gracious, slow to anger, and plenteous, plenteous in mercy. Okay? He would not always chide, all right, which is be angry. He would not always chide, neither will he keep his anger forever, man. You know, hence the title of the lesson. <clears throat> the Lord is not going to keep his anger forever, man. Let's see the NLT of this. It says, He will not constantly accuse us nor remain angry forever. Okay, and this is the point that we're getting to. You know, the Lord not keeping his anger forever, and that anger, that anger is ceasing with the Lord's elect, the ones that fear him. This is uh, Micah 7 and 18. It says, Who is a power like unto thee that pardoneth iniquity? Okay. And passeth by the transgression of the remnant of his heritage, man. Because these are the first spirits that are going to be forgiven, man. You know, the the, the rest of our, our people that are wicked, okay, they're uh, they're going to know after death by pain. They're going to wake up, <coughs> you know, in bliss <coughs> after they <coughs> receive a severe judgment. <coughs> now that I want, now that I'm doing a lesson, you know, I got all these, <coughs> you know, shit in my throat, you know. God damn But it says uh, Who is a God like unto thee That pardoneth iniquity And passeth by the transgression Of the remnant of his heritage He retaineth not his anger forever Because he delighteth in mercy man You know That's our power man And the whole world wants to claim our power No man the Lord's only dealing with us You know He will turn again He will have compassion upon us He will subdue our iniquities and thou will cast all their sins into the depths of the sea. And that's all because of the sacrifice that our Lord Yahweh Shai made, man. Call Allah Yahweh Shimon Shai for that, man. You know, that we have a way back to the Father, man. Through Yahweh Shai. It says, Thou will perform the truth to Jacob and the mercy to Abraham, which thou hast sworn unto our fathers from the days of old. See, so the Lord didn't forget, man. Okay, he didn't forget all the, the, the promises that he made to our great forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob. Okay? So the Lord's going to come through on his uh, on His words, man, like he always does, man. Okay? So he's not going to keep his anger forever, man. Let me go back to uh, Psalms. So going back to Psalms uh, 103 and 9, he will not always shine, neither will he keep his anger forever. He have not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. Okay, and, and, and he had, and he has, you know, he has chastised us, chastised us as a people, man. You know, shit. Majority of our people are still lost to this day, you know. And like the scripture said, they don't even consider, you know, all the things that the Lord, or all the things, yeah, all the things that the Lord put upon us, you know, all the chastisement and judgment, our people still don't even consider. They still not even turn to the Lord, you know? <clears throat> it says, For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy toward them that fear him. 
Okay, the scriptures say the Lord take a pleasure in them that fear him. Okay. <clears throat> as far as the east is from the west, so far have he removed our transgressions from us. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him. Okay. And soon all of our people are going to fear Yahweh by smell side. But right now it's just a remnant, an election, man. Okay, these are the ones that the, that are gonna benefit from fearing the Lord in, in these in these uh perilous times to come. Okay, which we hope, hey, we hope we can find that we find that grace, you know. <clears throat> it says, uh, for he knoweth our frame, he remembereth that we are dust. All right, in this in the, the scripture said a creature was subject to vanity. Okay, so the Lord know we can't get it perfectly right now. You know, we're in this we're in this uh vile flesh. Okay, but he knows that man. He's the one that put us here, man. He's the one that programmed us to go off. All right, but soon we ain't gonna go off. All right, and the Lord ain't gonna ain't gonna be angry with us no more, man. When He perfects us, Jeremiah thirty one and thirty one. It says, "Behold, the days come," said the Lord, "that I will make a new covenant with the house of Israel and with the house of Judah." You see. It's always centered, it's always been centered around the Israelites, man. From the beginning to the end. It's all about the nation of Israel. Okay? Not according to the covenant that I made with their fathers in the day that I took them by the hand to bring them out of the land of Egypt, which my covenant they break, right? The the uh, you know, the giving of the law. <clears throat> it says, Although I was a husband unto them, said the Lord, right? The Lord is our husband, and we're his woman. Okay? It says, but this shall be the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel. After those days, said the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts, man. The Lord going to reprogram us. You know, he going to reprogram us, man. You know, we're going to be, we're going to, like the scripture said, all the, all the Lord's people going to be righteous, man. You know, we're never going to go off again. Never be wicked, you know. It says... After those days, saith the Lord, I will put my law in their inward parts and write it in their hearts, you see, and will be their God and they shall be my people. You see, then the Lord's going to smile upon us, you know, then we're going to feel uh, those blessings instead of the curse, you know, we're going to feel that Deuteronomy 28 and 1 through 14, man, we're going to be blessed going in and we never going out, <laughs> you know, we're never going to die, all right, because the way of sin is death. So we're never going to die, you know, you never lose a loved one, you know, it ain't going to be no such thing as a nigger no more, you know, Jake ain't going to be lost, you know, all is going to know you how about your child. It says, and they shall teach no more every man, his neighbor and every man, his brother saying, no, you how about your mouth shy, right? All Jake is going to know the Lord, man. We're going to have to set up camp in the kingdom. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It says, for they shall all know me. From the least of them unto the greatest of them, says the Lord. For I will forgive their iniquity and I will remember their sin no more, man. Woo! And we can't wait, man, to get to that point, man. That's going to be a sight to see, man. All of our people righteous, you know, for eternity, man. You know, us over the nations, man. The earth beautified again. You know, that's what we're fighting for, man. We're fighting for our whole nation, man. You know? So we can't wait to get to this point. And then we'll never experience captivity ever again, you know? The Lord will never be angry with us again. The anger is going to be on you on you nations, man. You know, especially that first thousand years, man. This is uh, Zephaniah. Three and uh, uh, fourteen. It says, "Sing, O daughter of Zion! Shout, O Israel! Be glad and rejoice with all the heart, O daughter of Jerusalem." It says, "Uh, dang, where's that scripture at, man?" Oh, okay. It's 15. It says, 
The Lord have taken away thy judgments. He has cast out thine enemy. The king of Israel, even the Lord, is in the midst of thee. Thou shalt see, or thou shalt not see evil anymore, man. You know, eventually we're going to get to that point where we ain't going to see no uh, evil no more. We ain't going to see uh, uh, bad times as a nation. We're not going to experience the Lord's wrath. The Lord's going to get all that anger out on this side, you know, in the time of Jacob's trouble with uh with our people, man. You know, a lot of our people won't get uh, caught up in that nuclear fire. So on and so on, man. But that's going to be the end of the Lord's wrath. You know? I'm going to end it here, man. It's uh, Psalms 40 and 1. It says, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people, saith your power. Right? The Lord is <clears throat> he's speaking uh, good tidings unto our people now, man. The Lord is asking us to return back to him. He's forgiven us for our, our, our transgressions if we acknowledge it and repent. You know? Now the mercy is, 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 is the Lord is showing that mercy now, man. Okay? But the time of mercy, hey, hey, even that's coming to an end. The Lord's about to go crazy out here on you on your Jakes. And he's gonna use your your your, your master, Esau Edom. It says, speak ye comfortably to Jerusalem and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished. Okay, we're at the end of this thing, man. All right, we're at the end of our sufferings as a nation, man. You know, and these times will be the, the end of uh, uh, of our sufferings, man. Okay? It says, and cry unto her that her warfare is accomplished, that her iniquity is pardoned, for she have received of the Lord's hands double for all her sins, man. Okay, so we're not going to have to drink of that cup anymore, man. You know, these nations ain't going to get the best of us no more. Now the Lord is going to turn the tables, man. After he executes that wrath one more time, the Lord's going to let us get the best, the, 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 the advantage over these nations, man. You know, the Lord's going to change us, man. So we got forever be on point with him, man. All right, so the Lord's was edifying. The Lord will not keep his anger forever, man. You know? Lord's was edifying, giving all praise and glory to Yahweh by Shimon Havashai by Shimon Kakwadash. Till next time, Shalom.